Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, welcome back to another episode of Sense of South Jersey with me, Kellen. And uh, today I wanna to do another review on a fragrance, of course. And you know, it's getting close to the end of the summer here. In fact, it's Labor Day weekend, so happy Labor Day weekend. Uh, I don't know what everyone's plans are. I am going to the shore with my girlfriend later tonight for the rest of the weekend have Monday off, so, um, you know, looking forward to that. And I've been debating, you know, hey, w which fragrances should I review this weekend? Because I like to do, you know, at least two reviews per week for you guys. So um, I picked two random ones, um, one that I'm gonna do now and then one I might post later. But this particular fragrance is, is an older one. It's a classic, which is, you know, typically my style in terms of the fragrances I like. You know, it originally came out in 1936 and was uh, initially, meant at that time period uh, for as a women's fragrance but then later in the 1960s it was advertised in the united states as a masculine fragrance and then by the 90s worldwide it became a uh, masculine fragrance so this one is a classic fragrance um i don't know if you've ever heard of it i actually ordered it only because i needed to spend a little bit more money on one instance when i was purchasing some fragrances online to get free shipping and i saw it i was like what the hell i, I you know I, i've seen it around a couple times so I thought to myself, why not? I'll give it a try. It fits in the category of fragrances that I like, you know, the kind of fougere barbershop style. Um, and, you know, I wanted to review this one today for everybody. So I don't know if you've uh, ever heard of it before or have seen it before, but it's Canoe or Canoe by Dana. Um, and this is the fragrance. This is the special holiday edition box, you know, whatever that means. I don't really know the difference. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cheap box. Um, so we'll look at the box and bottle presentation. I'll go over some of the notes talk about its performance and what my overall thoughts are and then give it a rating as I always do. So we'll, we'll just jump right into it. Um, box right here, you can see blue box, special $8 holiday special, actually cost less than that too, which is funny. Got the Kino, um looks like sailing flags. You know, I actually saw on YouTube a, an old commercial and it was almost like very nautical theme for, for this uh, particular fragrance too. Um, kind of got this like pattern here in the box, nothing going on the sides, more of the pattern. Um, on the bottom, you got just the barcode. On the back, you got some information. Dana, Dana is actually in, in New Jersey, so it's Saddle Saddlebrook, I believe, is where it is uh, is made. At least his factory is. So I saw some um, information online about the vintage version being better, and now the newer one is slightly reformulated, not as strong. And that you know, there's a lot of fragrances that I like that are in that situation too. Um, but with this one, I really didn't care, so I just ordered whatever was available. Um, but we'll, we'll take it out here. So. Um, I actually ripped the box the first time I tried opening because you got to peel this thing back and um, it's kind of it's a cheap box and you can see it comes in this plastic here so again not not that great pretty cheap here the bottle is pretty simple got it right here Kano. it's a sticker as you can see that kind of line right there on the back you got nothing here on the um, you know the cap is here another sticker there the cap is really cheap it doesn't even really like can you pick it up by the cap no Maybe, but I wouldn't do it. It's probably just kind of on a tight, uh, tight, tight fit there. But it is really cheap, and you can see it. Uh, it's hollow there too. So, on um, bottom of the bottle, nothing much there. No batch information. Just one little number, and you know, it's only 30 ml. I didn't want to get a lot of it. It was I never smelled it before, so blind buy. So we'll see what the atomizers, atomizers like here. Distribution. Interesting. So, um, you know, the, the notes. Um, similar to a lot of barbershop, you got lavender, you got um, cedar, you got lemon, you got tonka bean, you got vanilla. Um, there were a couple other ones listed, but you know, um, I'll talk about what I get from this one in a moment here. You know, this one is is okay. Um, you know, performance was mediocre. I got four to five hours out of it. It's actually an eau de toilette. I actually thought it was an eau de cologne, but it's an eau de toilette. But it still wasn't that strong. Four to five hours projection siage was okay. Maybe in the first hour after that, it's it's just gonna be in your immediate area in terms of you know how other people are gonna perceive it or be able to smell it. So, um, you know, I think that I, there are other fragrances very similar that came out around the same time or same era as this one that are better than this one. You know, my overall thoughts are, it's a fougere, it's a barbershop, but it's extremely powdery. Yeah, I don't get that many other notes. I just get a lot of baby powder. And, um, you know, sometimes I'll spray it in the cap too if I don't wanna put it on myself. And that's the, First thing I get, I don't really get the citrus. I just get a lot of baby powder, a lot of baby powder. So that's the powdery type of scent it is. You know, that kind of coincides with some barbershop scents, but the dry down on this one is a little, it's almost like stale. You know, I, I'm not really a huge fan of this, to be honest with you. Um, I have it and I have a small bottle of it. And it's not bad, it's definitely fresh. 
Um, but I don't, I don't think it's awful, but I, I don't think it's that great. And I probably would prefer some of the older classics, like maybe Brewed Special Reserve or even an Old Spice or, um, what else could I think? Or Pinot Club Man. That's another one that I think smells very similar, but is a little bit more masculine. and you can really get the lavender. I don't get much of the lavender with this one. And, um, yeah, this is just really, really, really powdery. Um, that, that's what I, uh, really the only note that I can take that kind of dominates what else is in there. So I'm not sure if it's, um, going to be worth ever refilling this or how often I'd use it. I would definitely look at this as like a gym scent, something you throw in your bag, you spray on just to smell fresh walking in or out. Um, definitely good casual, definitely good daily, definitely good work scent for sure. I wouldn't wear this going out because there's not much to, to it. I don't think it's that inviting. It's kind of old fashioned and I'm okay with that. I like old fashioned a lot. Uh, you know, the, the, I'm not saying it's dated, but with this particular one, I definitely could see somebody saying that ah, it just smells like an old guy. And in my opinion, I would agree. And I don't think that this one, um, for example, somebody, a friend of mine said that about Aramis, and I love Aramis. I think that smells so good. I would defend that one. This one I kind of wouldn't, wouldn't really put up a fight for. I, I think it's just kind of like average and mediocre at best too. So um, it is very similar to a lot of other fragrances, but I think your Brute Special Reserve, your, your um, Wild Country by Avon, another one that's very similar, more barbershop, but a little bit fresher, and I think smells much better than this one. This is not so great. I don't know what the vintage version is like. I've never, uh, I never smelled that one before, but I'm going to give my overall rating and I think presentation five out of 10, just because it's, it is clean presentation, but there's nothing to it. Performance is five out of 10 and the smell is a four out of 10. There's nothing unique about this. So I'll give it overall four, uh, four out of 10. So I don't really think it's that great. I wouldn't go out of my way to search for this one. If you guys have any experience with Cano by Dana or you have different thoughts on it, you think, um, that I maybe am being too harsh on this fragrance, please let me know in the comments and uh, also like and subscribe. And I'm excited for the fall scent line that I have coming soon for everybody. But um, I don't know if anyone's had an experience with Dana, but again, I'm gonna get, give it a 4.5 or if now, I'll stick with the four. Four out of 10, not so great. I would pass on this if I were you. I have it because I needed free shipping. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I'll see you soon, goodbye for now.